Let's go over what it's like to build a bakery from one person to many. There's ways to scale and pick equipment that does not compromise quality, but just as easily you could scale your way into equipment that does nothing but compromise quality. As long as you can keep the integrity of the process intact and you're not prone to compromise for the machinery that you own. At our largest facility, it's probably 30 people, but across the organization, it's around 50. At the end of the day, that's more of a question of what kind of culture have you built so far and how many people are actually invested into that mission. Flour, water, salt, sourdough starter. With that set of resources, alchemy transpired. We're making croissant dough. It stretches a little so you can see that the gluten's developed. To hand laminate, press down and out. I'm gonna open up fully to five, place another chocolate on the other side, and those are my punish galop. Outside end into the middle, and I'm left with this braided twist. You wanna avoid ones that are too dense. Also probably just means you didn't proof long enough. I'm offering something that's got inherent value in it. When they come up and they're like, wow, your bread is so beautiful. It's like, yeah, I scored that. The thing that you're wowed by, I did it. Your products should be the stars of building demand over time. Ingredients are more powerful and less expensive than advertisements. You should use them.